Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we're playing Skitter Beam Reactor. Could a steady diet of dog food bring out the inner beast in you? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host and former 1900 psychic, Dr. Yukon Pocket. Yes, thank you. I knew you would applaud. Thank you so much, Yukon Pocket. Word to your mama. So I am broadcasting to you once again from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation called Skitter Beam Reactor. There's a hidden R there. Reactor. Uh, yeah, so the story is, I was playing against some guy yesterday, and he got out, like, some of the cards in this deck. It was like Kumano, Dragaspark Reactor, and he got out, I think, Reinforced Ronin, and then lastly, Skitter Beam. And that Dragon Spark Reactor went crazy. And I'm just like, holy smokes. You know, whoever the hell I was playing, I love Skitter Beam Battalion, but part of marking it together with Dragon Spark Reactor, that is too much to pass up on. All right, so this is what got thrown together. It's uh, trying to put together a deck that I vaguely saw like five cards out of, and here's the rest of it. So let's... uh. Let's see what's in it. Let's try to figure out what I think should work, and then we'll take it out and crush some hopes and dreams. All right, so once again, the point of it is to have some awesome cards, but essentially to have a Dragon Spark Reactor that just sucks up artifacts coming into play. So at the low end, though, we got Rabbit Battery and Reinforced Ronin, which only cost you one, and every time they come into play, they make that Dragon Spark Reactor increase one every time. So these guys are great. They're red, they're fast, they're hasty, and they're artifacts. Uh, Kumano's in here because he is also incredibly cheap, but he'll help to pump up these other two on the second part of his uh, saga there. And you get a 2-2 with haste when he's all said and done. So it was hard to pass this up. Possibly there could be a different, better card out there, but I really like this one right now. Uh, this guy, Horn Stone Seeker, he is not an artifact, but he's only two to put out. He has Menace, and he's a 2-2, which means it's going to be hard for people to block him. Uh, you could throw the Rabbit Battery on him, making him a Menace E3-3. Uh, plus, he puts out a Power Stone, which is an artifact which will also increase the, the, the Dragon Spark Reactor. Let's see, Lightning Strike blows away either your opponent or other dudes, keeping it so that there's only one guy out, so that he cannot, nobody can block the Stone Seeker. Obliterating Bolt is a fantastically cheap card that kills, that does four points of damage to target creature or planeswalker, but it is just a sorcery. But it will also exile whatever dies that turn. So fantastic, right? Bankbuster comes out, is an artifact, making the Dragon's Heart Reactor get better, allows you to draw a bunch of cards. This will make all the red and artifact creatures do an additional point of damage. And I got pretty much nothing but it. Lastly, we got the Skitter Beam Battalion, who will put out three artifact creatures, which will increase the Dragon Spark Reactor by three every time you play the Skitter Beam. All you need is five mana. So between your regular mana and whatever the Horn Stone Seeker can put out, you can get to this guy possibly early, because this guy is going to help you ramp to a certain degree towards artifactness. Uh, let's see, lastly, we got a little Mistress Foundry in here just because sometimes you get your dudes wiped out and you need your lands to pull clutch for you. So one of the things I like about this, it is a hasty mono red burn deck, but it does have plan B and plan C. All right, let's take it out and see if we can crush our enemies, see them driven before us and hear the lamentation of the women. Our pen against Holy FC. Holy F and C. One, two, three. Let's keep it. Number one starts off with the rabbit battery. 
All attack. All right, we're playing no pet, no sleeves. Two. I'm going to go straight for a horn. Seeker. All attack. He drops his load on the ground. All right. Three gets us into another seeker. And let's go ahead and go for Hasty Joe Jackson right there. All attack. Yeah, I didn't. I was thinking I was going to put the rabbit onto the storm seeker. And then I got all excited about the other Ronin. Oh, you're trying to make him into a badass now, aren't you? All right, let's start off with one, two, shot to the face. Yeah, this should matter. This should be fine. All attack. Down to seven. All right, come on. Skitter beam, baby. Skitter beam, skitter beam, skitter. Ah, it's just another one. Uh, let's see, put him out as a 2 2. All in. Okay. I can't reconfigure him now. All right, all attack. And yeah, whatever, we'll kill that guy if he blocks it. Can't block the other two. Rabbit battery is it for you. There's only one thing to do. That's it. Whenever you get in a fix, you reach into your bag of tricks. Come on, let's go, my man. You don't have any choices here. All right. Now you should just give up. Admit your eventual doom. There we go. That's the way you win a game. Victory! Alright, we're playing against Frox. That was going to be Forks, but it was not. Keep. Alright, number one gets us into a Kumano. Night night, dragon. Night night. Number two gets us into a dragon for reactor. All right, let's go for the rabbit battery and all in for the attack. And I think Buster goes out. Let's see if we can pull. Put out another one of these guys. And all in. All right, we can pop for four when we get down to four that we need to do. You know, four mana. I got an obliterated bolt. I hope he puts out something interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, 
Let's crew up. Boink, boink. All in with the four. Let's see what else we can pull here. Boink. Nice. Uh, put them in, pull them out. And he's back. Oh, he's able to destroy a target enchantment. Good for him. All right, let's go to town. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're coming. There's more to come. And we win. Superstar magic victory. Our pin against Mo Dog. Uh, one, two. Let's keep it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mono. All right, number two, we'll put out a Stone Seeker. All right, strip the three mana or is the Skitter Beam. And we're playing against werewolves. Two up. That one goes out. Let's throw this one in that guy's face. We'll pop this for an additional one. And I'll attack. I'm 12. All right, let's hope we pull a man on the next turn. All right, come on, just roll over and show me your belly there, Mo Dog. That's what I'm looking for here. He's thinking. That is not what I'm looking for. But uh, this guy will provide the fifth mana. I'm going to toss him and go get a card. Maybe we'll get a man out of the deal. Nope. All right. I. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's willing to uh, sacrifice all of his dudes to kill this one. That would be required. I'm a gambling man. There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I just got to keep my dudes alive so they won't kill their very own power stones because I need them badly. All right, Jerky Jerkelson, come on, my man. We're playing red. This is fast. There is no slowdown. I'm not allowed to tune down my thought patterns at all. Your environment is a lie. All right, there we go. We can afford to lose a little bit of something here, too. Here we go. Three, four.
All right, we're just going to go to town. We're going to start losing guys, but not too many. Just one. All attack. So he's probably going to take out a 2-2. None of them really matter that much. As long as he doesn't kill both of the stone seekers, we got enough for another skitter beam on our next turn. What would have been great would be to have Mechanized Warfare out, but, you know, there's only four in a deck and there's only so many cards you can pull. Super. You're blocking two, which means you're taking minimum of eight damage. One guy's tap means you're still taking... You're taking more than eight. You're dying. That's what you're doing, my lord. You're dying, my lord. Kumbaya. Someone's dying, my lord, and it's Modog. Kumbaya. Oh, my lord. You're dying. Kumbaya. Yeah. Great. Dead! Touchdown, Lava Bears! You should force that guy to go faster, though. But against Angry Dad. Angry Dad. Angry Dad. Does everything an Angry Dad can. Uh, let's see. Let's keep it. That's a lot of Reinforced Ronin. That'll be a funny, funny deck. It'd be funny if we just he just puts out nothing and we're just reinforcing running him to death. There we go. Uh, wasn't the way I intended to play this, but that's the way we're doing it. Well, look who it is, a reinforced Ronin, and a reinforced Ronin, and yet another reinforced Ronin. All attack, and we win! <laughs> Victory! I gotta say that right. Victory! All right, but against Cal... Kalich? Kalich? Kaliak? I don't know. One, two, three, Kumano. That's eh, good. This is a good, hasty deck to start off with here. You just see a lot of Kumano into Rabbit Battery, and then, I don't know, Mechanized Warfare, since we already got everything else out. We don't have anything that, that's going to really power this thing up. Alright, here's Kumano. Ow, right to the face. Alright, here's a rabbit battery. And two right to the face. Alright, this is the part where we might lose somebody, but what can we do about it? I could put one onto the other, that would pretty much save it. He's really gonna give a siege engine for that. Wow. Somebody wants to start countering, apparently. All attack. In your face, Ho Chi Minh. All attack. Yes! Yes, glorious blood and damage. Uh, let's do this. Goink, 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 goink. Right there. All in.
That's hexproof. It is not the same thing as the other. You're just looking to kill something. You did a good job. Oh, right, cool. Here we go. There's three. All, all, all attack. Come on down. All right. Goink, goink. All right, so I need one more mana to be able to trigger off the reactor. And there it is. Just send in the one to do it. And we're done. Boom, boom, goes the room. All right, playing against SQR. Social Quality Reject. One, two, let's keep it. All right, I'm going to rabbit battery to start off with. I'll attack. Next turn, I'll have two reinforced Ronins out. I'll attack. Down to 14. You think he's going to pull the same move on me? You think we're playing mirror matching? Training. All right, three is going to get us one. This is still the best move. I mean, I can put out the other, which will get us up to four mana, so we can skitter beam it. Yeah, I jumped ahead a little bit too much. I should have put the rabbit battery onto one of the Ronin. It's fine. This guy have training, huh? All right, so there's four. All right, and we're good. This is gonna be our fifth. And uh, if I go out with this guy for a two. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And I'll attack. If you want to block with your both your guys, then I can kill them both. There we go. Uh, you gotta keep two rabbits. Thought one of them would die. Anything happen? Oh, because it had three points of damage. That's why. All right, that's cool. Here we go. Skitter beam! All right, rabbits. Oh, I guess I could have sent in the home seeker. And we win! Suck it, soccer fish! Alright, so here we are with uh, the Skitter Beam Reactor, and I've, I've fallen in love with another deck. Love, love, love this deck. It is tasty, it is fast, it is powerful. Um, yeah, I, I have really liked it. Uh, I, I know I've played like Hasty Skitter Beam before. I'll have to go back to see how close I am to pretty much just replicating the same deck from before. But I know we're really focusing on artifacts this time. And thus we have Rabbit Battery, Reinforced Ronin, Skitter Beam, Bank Buster, and the, the Dark, the Dragon Spark Reactor. So all together, that was all fantastic. I love it when a Horn Stone Seeker throws down a, a Power Stone, which is yet another artifact which powers up the Dragon Spark Reactor as well as makes potentially the nine mana battalion even more probable. So yeah, lots of synergy going on here. It kind of hints and leads you towards the idea that you could be even more powerful in the mid to late game than you would otherwise expect, not relying upon winning in the early game. Now, the problem is this deck does win in the early game a lot. 
but uh, it's nice to have a backup plan. So who was the hero of this deck? Um, to me, it kind of seemed like it was Horn Stone Seeker. This this guy, you know, he comes out and he's got Menace. And Menace was very hard for people to deal with in the early game. They usually had one dude out. We had the ability to take out a second guy. We were able to pump this guy up with like the rabbit battery. Uh, you put, you get Mechanized Warfare, he becomes even stronger. But basically, it's just getting this guy with Menace, clearing the board a little bit, and then, yeah, pumping him up a little bit, having him being part of that. The fact that he gives you that extra Power Stone, this guy comes out of nowhere for being an incredible card. It's funny, I only got three of them in here. I didn't have the faith in him that I should have. Uh, I potentially might rack that dude up to a four just because he was really the hero of this deck. Now, uh, this is what I got to say. Eric Belhagen, I'm sorry. You can obviously draw much better than I can, but I'm not a big fan of the art on here. It'd be cooler if it was somehow different. This just looks kind of boring and... I just, I hate to be a critic, but that's one thing. I, it's, it's the reason I would never even would have looked at him. The art is a little too boring for me. Uh, okay, is this deck competitive? Yes, I have a 100% win rate with this deck right now. Out of like, I don't know, seven games or something. 100%. Uh, it is definitely a competitive deck. Is this deck fun? Absolutely, it's fun. It is super fun. Uh, is it interesting? Um, yeah, yeah, it's because I, I don't think I've ever put the Skitter Beam Battalion with the Dragon's Spark Reactor before. I played against a guy yesterday that did it, and that's where I'm just like, oh, 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 I've got to do this. I've never big, been a big Dragon's Spark Reactor, and as a matter of fact, in all the games I just played, I never even got a chance to fire them off. I've either, I just, I've just won. They sat there, they collected lots of stuff. I, I planned on using them to blow people away, but... It was like I just won otherwise, and it wasn't necessary. They're definitely the plan B, those reactors, but uh, I didn't need them. Didn't need them. So, yeah, there was a bunch of interesting cards in here. Obliterating Bolt is one that's been seeing a lot of rounds lately, but I haven't seen anywhere. The biggest problem with it, it is a sorcery. It is a sorcery, and so it is slow, which means you can't take out things like Reinforced Ronin that are only out on your opponent's turn. So, yeah. Uh, so that's why I ended up having to put some lightning strike back in here. So anyways, yeah, this is the deck. It was competitive, fun, and interesting, making it an A+. So as my people are wont to say, this deck is so choice, I would highly recommend you pick one up should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.